there's a really special memory I have from childhood, and that was the sound of a wheat grinder down in my mom's kitchen, which meant she was baking fresh bread. And in a few hours, the amazing smell of homemade bread filled the whole house. Now that's something I've not continued for my family. It's been a dream of mine, and now I'm determined to make it happen. So today I'll bring you a little bit along through my day, and we're gonna attempt two things. First off, baking homemade bread from fresh ground wheat flour. And secondly, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, so I'm gonna give you guys an idea for a recipe on a sweet potato casserole that I think you all love. So I was waiting to bake for today. I was waiting for something in the mail. My little handy dandy mailman ran down to get it. He rigged up a little wagon behind his tray. Far down this dusty road, wildflowers always grow. There's a little house that you can call your own. Where a heart like yours will never start for love And you he will you never ears feel of corn. Alone. He brought you two ears of corn? Yeah! The neighbor man! Yeah! Well that's cool! I, I forgot to say thank you! Uh oh! Okay, well you try to remember next time. Okay. And guess what? What? I didn't believe it! When I saw the truck came by, it, there's a little dog in it! It was there! There's a Do lot. you have all my stuff for my bread? Yep. All right. Did you get tired out? It looked a little bit tiring. Like you might have been tired. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard to pull it. I bet. It got that weight on. Got it all. Yep. Thank you, Xander. That's a lot. You're a strong dude. That's a pretty neat contraption. As many of you probably know, it's a little bit of an art and a skill to learn how to bake bread from freshly ground wheat. It's a little more difficult than like store-bought wheat. I tried it one time already with this wheat. It's a red hard white wheat berry. Um, and the bread was really, really heavy with the recipe I used. It just kind of sat on your stomach. I called my sister. She does this a lot. She gave me the recipe in here. It actually ended up being my mom's recipe. So I'm tweaking it a little bit with a few things. But hopefully this will turn out. Um, and if it does, I will leave the recipe for you guys down in the description. Just go to my blog, themennonightmom.com and um, I'll have it over there. Now because of my health issues and just trying to be overall healthy, we don't eat a lot of baked goods in this house or a lot of sugar. We try to keep that out, so I'm not much of a baker. However, bread is something that Xander eats a lot of, Nolan, it's just a staple. Something I try not to eat much of, I don't feel well on. And one of the reasons I've been not making bread is because fresh homemade bread is like one of my extreme weaknesses and so, I'm gonna have to learn how to have self-control not to eat it, but yet feed my family with it. And it is a goal of mine to eventually learn how to do like sourdough, and maybe that I can handle a little bit better. I've been told by multiple people, my mom, my sister, different people that Prairie Gold, this brand of wheat berries is one of the best for getting a good loaf of bread. So I've got my two helpers all ready to help. Although I think Lexi's about ready for her nap, but let's get started. So we just recently invest in the Mock Mill 200, and supposedly this is a really good one. And also, I think it's one of the less lesser messy ones with flour everywhere. <gasps> Look at that! Can I feel it? It feels good. Yeah, you can turn it on. Can I do it? Thank you. 
escape the loaves. They are rising and I really hope it works out. It's my mom's recipe and she just has dump in flour until it reaches such and such a consistency. And I hate that kind. She was kind of a little bit more the dump and guess, which I do that too. But when I don't know what I'm doing, I'm like, does this feel right? Did I get enough flour? Not enough. So thanks mom. <laughs> it looks nice so far, but I have a feeling it might not turn out just I don't know, it almost felt too tough, but I don't know. So while the bread's rising, let me tell you quickly about today's sponsor, and also Lynette Yoder introduced this to me, and I fell in love with this brand, and I'm not just saying this, because I'll tell you why in a bit and who it is. We don't eat a lot of desserts in this family. I am not huge into baking, and so I run into this dilemma that when we have company over, guests come over, and I wanna feed them something sweet and savory, I like start scrambling for ideas because I'm like, what can I do like besides just brownies and ice cream, which is good, I often do that. I just feel like since I don't bake a whole lot and we try to keep sugar mostly out of the house, um, that I don't always have the best of ideas. If people come over last minute, I'm like, what am I gonna serve them? And it just becomes this roadblock in my mind and I'm like, I need to, and I'm trying to work at this where I have like foods on hand or foods and types of things that I'm like, okay, this is a quick go-to that I can feed people and have on hand. But this is one thing I plan to always have on hand for moments like that, or even just for the family for special moments because it is so good. And that is Calhoun Ben Mill, their cobbler mixes, their apple crisp mix, so good. We tried it for the first time last night and Xander just went crazy. I couldn't film him a whole lot because we had church to go to. Super, super good, and it is so easy, so easy to whip up and put together. And the other thing that I like, just from my purist standpoint, is the ingredients on this. You can actually understand and read, and there's like just a handful instead of a list this long. In the apple crisp, all you have is cane sugar, unbleached wheat flour, non-fat milk, salt, cornstarch, and cinnamon. That's it, you can actually read and understand the ingredients. Last night we had the apple crisp, so easy to whip up. You just melt butter over top of your crumbles and I just spread it on top of fresh apples. You can use canned apples. I just cut up um, fresh apples and it was so, so tasty. At the end of this video, I'm also gonna share a really fun recipe that you can use with this for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's coming up. Sweet potatoes are staples in Thanksgiving for a lot of people. This is going to be a great um, casserole for you guys to try, so I'll share that in a bit. So Patrick started this business when he was in college. So he first sold cornmeal he made from the corn that his dad raised and he peddled it at his local grocery stores. And then from there he eventually realized he needed to have more items than just stone ground cornmeal. And so he began to take his mom's recipes and make dry mixes as well. And his peach cobbler is actually one of his top selling mixes. And so in his dessert line you can also get like blueberry crumble, cherry oatmeal crunch, apple crisp. And his business has grown to all 50 states and you can find him in pretty much in any Walmart. It's actually where I went and got these. They had the two kinds at our local Walmart. And you can also find him pretty much where anywhere Walnut Creek brand items are sold. So it's sort of like your farmer's markets, Amish stores, bulk food places. So yeah, super easy desserts, and it's a real crowd pleaser. I'm really happy to be teaming up with them and that they partnered with me. You recommend people buy it? I highly recommend. That is some of the best apple crisp I've ever had. All right, so probably about 15 more minutes, I think the bread's gonna be done rising. It's rising beautifully. And then we're gonna bake it, see how it tastes, and then we're gonna make this sweet potato casserole. Ta-da! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Is it done? Through my dirty oven window. Woo-hoo! I can't believe that one. Mm. That it smells absolutely divine in here. And the bread looks good so far. So it's getting to cool. I'm gonna quickly clean up the kitchen. And then I think I'm gonna take the kiddos out on an e-bike ride. And, but before we go, hopefully Xander can try a slice and let me know what he thinks. Yum! <laughs> Yummy, I can't wait. The Vegas. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hopefully it's okay. Seems maybe a bit puffy. Yeah, we'll see. Puffy. Ooh, it's nice and soft. Oh. <gasps> Did I get it? I wonder if I baked it long enough. Here, hold on a minute. Let me put butter on it for you. You want butter? 
Sure. Okay. Maybe make it try two. Maybe one with none and one R. It's kind of messy. There. Okay, you tell me what you think. Mmm. It is good. Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. Do you want me to always make bread now? Mmm. -hmm. Is it better than the other one I made? Like yeah. the other bread? Yeah. I really shouldn't be doing this once I start. But I do want to see how it tastes, if it's actually... Mom! I think it's done. Let's see if I can keep it to one bite and let you have the rest. Because I really shouldn't be eating bread. Bread is my weakness. Mmm! Is that good? Oh! Mmm! Boy, that takes me back to my mom's kitchen. Woo! One more bite. <laughs> Yum! Do you want the rest of mine? Sure. <laughs> mm. My very own homemade, freshly bread. ground wheat bread. bread. Very pleased. So if you want the recipe, I'll have it on my blog, link down below. Just beware, it doesn't give you cups to measure. It just sort of tells you add flour until you get the right consistency. So I was just dumping flour. I don't even know how much I got, but it turned out well. You're just devouring that bread. I like it more with melted butter. That's more good than this with butter you can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Open up the window. I'm breathing in. September. So beautiful. I can feel the wind blow. <laughs> and the late summer sky is like a giant ember. Everything is turning into gold. A lot of people mention, like, why don't you wear helmets? Well, personally, I just don't really see the point riding a bike unless you're doing major stunts and if you're on the road or something but if you're just back in nowhere i think helmets are just kind of a yeah i don't really see the need for them you can hate on that all you want but i stand firm on my opinion i think the states is way too over the top with all the safety precautions and i mean you can't do hardly anything without like so many restrictions and this and that and the other thing and while a lot of that is good I just think it's a little bit over the top like bike helmets for instance I think there's been studies shown that since like all the helmet things came into place where people are like really hammering that especially in the states children don't like to ride their bikes nearly as much as they used to back before that all happened and I believe it helmets are just hot and sweaty and Unless they're doing major tricks, I just don't really see what a little fall is going to hurt them. So, maybe I'm a little bit over the top on that, but I think you can live a little bit sometimes without being worried about every possible little thing that could go wrong. So yeah, that's my two cents. When the autumn leaves are playing, chasing, puts a smile up on my face. They leave their branches one by one. salmon sweet potato casserole and green beans so this sweet potato casserole is a great idea if you want something or some ideas for Thanksgiving 
Um, I know a lot of people love like different sweet potato dishes. Most people love them like super, super sweet. I'm not one of those. But the recipe that I'm using, I'm gonna have links down in the description. It's also from Calhoun Ben Mills website. It's a super, super fast and easy recipe. You need three cups of sweet potatoes. I just used baked sweet potatoes and mashed them. Um, two eggs, one cup of sugar. Now, I didn't add the sugar. I don't, we don't like our sweet potatoes so super sweet. I just put in a little bit of honey, but most people like their sweet potatoes really sweet. So one cup of sugar, half a cup of butter melted, a third a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then for the topping, you'll need the apple crisp mix from Calhoun Ben Mills. It's optional if you want to add pecans and raisins to the mix. I didn't have pecans on hands, but I did add raisins to half of it. And I know pecans would make it super amazing. I wish I had some, but that's optional. I didn't have it, so. I just threw on some raisins on half of it because I don't think Xander and Nolan like raisins too much. So, that's what's for supper. Poor baby, are you getting some new teeth today? Are ya? Oh, kind of tough day for the baby. You're not even six months old yet. You're getting your top to these. Oh no. <laughs> This sweet potato casserole is amazing. It's the first time I tried it, but I honestly would not put in a cup of sugar like they call for. I just put a little bit of honey in, and with the sweetness of the top, and to me, sweet potatoes are sweet enough, but if you guys like lots of sugar and so, so sweet, then put in the sugar. I think it's perfect without just a little bit of honey. We'll see what the guys think. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for this beautiful weather. Thank you for this good food. Pray that you give us a good night's rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. okay. mm, that casserole smells good. Does it? I'm gonna try a bite. You like it? That is amazing. What's the crust? It's that same apple crisp stuff that's on oh, really? the apples. Wow. Now, that recipe calls for a cup of sugar. Mm. I only put like a dash of honey in. That's sweet. Yeah, though, I would isn't not it? want it any sweeter than this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is good. You, you try some, bud. Okay. Love it. Mm. Not really like it. You don't really like it? <laughs> mm. Why not? Is mm. that too hot? No, maybe when you're almost ready to swallow it tastes good. No. Okay. <laughs> you're not just a huge sweet potato fan, are you? Mm, mm. I'm more of a mashed potato you're mashed. fan. Mashed. You're a mashed potato fan. Yeah. She must have been tasting the shoes on. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed baking bread with us coming along in this beautiful fall day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Be blessed. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.